Okay, so we're going to take a look at this idea of the orthocenter. So the orthocenter is the intersection of your altitude lines. Every triangle has three different altitude lines. Remember, the altitude line is just the height of your triangle. Um, if you need that video, it'll be linked in the top right. So in this case here, my orthocenter is going to go altitude line A. So altitude line A would look something like this. Altitude line B goes from vertice B to the opposite side, meeting at 90 degrees. And lastly, altitude line C goes from the opposite side, again, meeting at 90 degrees. Where all three of these altitude lines cross, we have our orthocenter. All right, now uh, just one, one key piece of information here for you guys is that when you have an acute triangle, like the diagram that I have here, when you do have an acute triangle, your orthocenter is always located inside the triangle. Now let's take a look at how things will work if you had an obtuse triangle. So I've got a triangle here, let's label this A, B, and C. Now things are a bit different. So if I want to calculate, let's say altitude line C, altitude line C, again, it goes up here, you want to cross roughly at the 90 degree angle. So right here, now this line actually extends in both directions. Okay, so what I've done here is I've extended that altitude line in both directions here, and you'll see why in a second. Okay, I'm gonna extend this line here of the triangle here, and just to show you guys the reason for this, you'll see in a second. Um, if I extend this line, the reason is, is because when I go to calculate altitude line A, you'll notice I don't have a 90 degree angle anywhere here. I have to go outside the triangle to find that 90 degree angle. And that 90 degree angle looks maybe right about here. So now as I extend that, we now have our point of intersection right there. Likewise, when I go to calculate altitude line B, I won't be able to find that altitude line inside the triangle. So because of that, I have to extend the line we have here. So because of that, I have to extend the line that we have, and then I can go ahead and find that angle outside of the triangle. As I go and go and go, I'm getting that angle outside. And then where these cross, in this case here, this point right here, uh, this becomes my orthocenter, okay? So when you have an obtuse triangle, as you can see here, your orthocenter is always located outside the triangle. Okay, let's take, take a look here at a right angle triangle. So if I have a right angle triangle, let's label this ABC. If I want to go calculate altitude line B, okay, which is the height, just the height of your triangle, it would go from vertice B to the opposite side at 90 degrees. Fairly straightforward. Now, when I go to calculate altitude line A, notice here the right angle actually happens right here. The right angle is the leg of your triangle for altitude line A. And similar, similarly, the right angle is the leg of the triangle for altitude line C. So therefore, where do these cross? Well, these are going to cross uh, right here right at the intersection of both legs of your triangle, right at the 90 degree angle. This is the location of your orthocenter. So when you have a right angle triangle, as we do here, your orthocenter is located at the intersection of the legs of your triangle, right at the 90 degree angle. Okay, so I just thought I'd outline that with orthocenter. Uh, acute triangles are inside. Obtuse triangles are outside, and right angle triangles are located right at that 90 degree angle. All right, thank you.